It was such an incredibly delightful idea for murder that I was half out of my mind. The idea had come to me on my 48th birthday. Why it hadn't come to me when I was 30 or 40, I cannot say. Perhaps I sailed through them, unaware of time and clocks and my own passing. Anyway, on my 48th birthday, lying in bed that night, I thought, I will arise and kill Ralph Underhill. Ralph Underhill? 36 years later? Kill him? For what? Why? For how he treated me when I was 12. I stepped into the past, and I thought to myself, Where are you going, Doug, you fool? To kill Ralph Underhill. Why? Remember what pain he caused me? And yet, to some extent, I had to be hurt. We friends needed each other, I to be hit, he to strike. I heard his voice. Where you been, Doug? I needed someone to beat. Where you been, Doug? I had no one to pinch. He never once came to my house. I was never woken by the patter of rocks on my window. And for that reason, Ralph Underhill, for that reason, I shall kill you tonight. The murder was beyond all reason. I was safe in my pure insanity. Murder. After 36 years. They say you can't go home again. That's a lie. If you're lucky and time it right, you arrive at sunset, when the old town is filled with golden light. No one in history had ever done a crime like this. I would wait, kill, depart. Will he know me? After all this time? In the instant before the first shot, Tell him your name. He must know who it is. When we were twelve, he towered over me. But now, he was a little old man. I hadn't expected that. People don't remember. They can't! Across the years? Why? This is what I had come for. To see Ralph Underhill as he was in that hour. Bang. Six shots through the heart. But I didn't use the pistol. I only whispered the sound of the shots with my mouth. I didn't need the gun. Time beat me to the punch. Doug? Doug Spaulding? I stopped on the lawn in front of the house where I once lived. By my simple act of walking away 36 years ago, half of Ralph's life collapsed. <laughs> 